The changes come six weeks after a state auditor said the department's response to the high number of jail deaths was inadequate. CBS 8's LaMonica Peters tells us what some jail safety advocates are saying about the changes. Advocates say these policy changes are long overdue, but they're optimistic about the impact they could have on saving an inmate's life. It's been about a month today. I've already been to three scenes. Paul Parker is the executive officer of the Citizens Law Enforcement Review Board, an oversight committee for the San Diego County Sheriff's Department. After years of lobbying, he says he's pleased the department has already given him access to jails and other scenes when a death occurs. Their critical incident review board is now going to be looking at natural deaths and somehow, some way, they're going to be publicizing the results of what used to be uh, a board that would meet and not publicize their results. Interim Sheriff Kelly Martinez says the policy changes include more timely and proper safety checks, medication assisted treatment for inmates, and more deputies wearing body cameras inside jails. Prisoner rights advocate Mary Estrada says she's also encouraged by the changes. I think it's awesome because, I mean, we need to know what goes on in there, you know. They're hired and they've, you know, taken the oath to protect, you know, the inside and um, if they're not doing that, you know, again, they need to be held accountable. The sheriff's department says it's currently understaffed, but they're making an effort to hire more deputies to implement the new policies. We're gonna agree, we're gonna disagree. But I think if everybody's working toward implementing measures that are appropriate to keep folks safe and keep folks alive and to help folks transition back into the community, I think is a win for everyone. Parker says he believes the changes will help and they're the first step in rebuilding the community's trust in law enforcement.